welcome. I think this is the first vlog of the year. I think I've done so many like travel vlogs and it, like things that you can do like Toronto and Niagara Falls. I think this is my first vlog and I know you guys miss the vlogs because I always get messages on Instagram. But I just feel like my life's been boring. Well, not boring, but I've just been working a lot because my family come in May, so I'm just trying to work as much as I can. But today, so many people have asked me to vlog my Primark trip, so that is exactly what I'm doing. I haven't got any makeup on. My hair is wet because I'm just still having like a kind of chill day. Um, hey. Hi. <laughs> Jake's with me too. And I have to say, I did not sleep well last night at all. It was raining and we had like this dripping noise that goes onto our porch. And I'm just so tired right now. <laughs> Are you tired too? Yeah, I fixed, I fixed the dripping noise last summer and I think the winter's like broke it again so i need to fix it again so i'm very tired this morning but we're excited because we are off to primark um my sister-in-law went two days ago and she said it is probably the smallest primark she's ever been in because we're used to like birmingham where it's like five floors or london or oxford street but primark is still primark and we're both excited aren't we yes. we're just going to take you along with us i don't know if i'm going to buy anything i just want to show you i think you will you think I will? Yeah, you'll see something you go, oh, I love this. And you're like, what do you think? <laughs> anyway, this is the first vlog of the year, Jake, because we've just been doing so much travel ones, not vlogs. Oh, yeah. But, um, everyone... First vlog of the year, it's April. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. Everyone's saying they miss my vlogs, and now I know why, because this is the first one. <laughs> um, so it would be very chatty, a bit catchy uppy. I don't think there's anything major that we have to catch you guys up with. I have a YouTube channel. Yeah, Jake has a YouTube channel. Thank you if you already subscribe. I always leave it down in the description box. So make sure you go check it out. He's been on a few adventures already this year. We are going to do a sit down and talk about where we've booked this year, campsite related, what road trips we have planned and things like that. Uh, me and Jake will do that at some point. Um, we are our first booked one is actually in June but we're hoping to book one in May as well but my family are here for like 10 days so we're trying to arrange it afterwards but anyway we'll do a sit down video and talk about what we've booked soon but we are just on our way what border are we crossing over today Jay? Uh, Lewiston. Okay so we're gonna cross over at Lewiston and this is the first time we've been to the States in a while too because my passport's about to run out which I really need to get done. Uh, maybe we can get a picture done today even though I'm not looking the freshest. So I'm so excited. And um, the, the Primark is in the Walden Galleria Mall, is that how you say it? Yeah. It's in Buffalo so it takes about 30 to 40 minutes to get there from our house because it's, it's in Buffalo so it's slightly further along. But yeah, let's go. Okay, so we are now in the States. Um, it was a long lineup today. I know it's a Saturday, but normally Saturday mornings are quite okay. So from waiting um, at the line to get into the border was about 40, 40 minutes. And then we were in and out with our fingerprints within 10 minutes. It does take slightly longer for us to do our fingerprints because on Jake's passport, he obviously went to the States and got a visa for the States. So they always look into that a little bit more. Um, but yeah, it was okay. They, they asked us a few different questions this time. They, um, he actually put his hand through the back window and opened the trunk, which has never happened. It's always such a, oh, it's always such an experience going through the border because you always get asked different questions. So when people message me and say, what were you asked and things, I can't give you a straight answer because every single officer is so different. I mean, it always keeps us on our toes, but we're not hiding anything. We're coming over here for Primark and then going back home. So yeah, we're just 27 minutes away from the mall. Um, we're gonna do Primark first probably. And yeah, we'll just take you along with us. It's a little vlog, but yeah, it's nice and simple. <laughs> okay, so we've just parked up and I can see it in the distance. Guys, you don't understand how excited I am. Okay, so when we came in, it was literally pouring with rain, but we are in and we've got a free tote bag. So, at the minute, it is just one floor in here. Did you hear that ring? Yeah, I don't like it. <laughs> We're just gonna look at prices, see what they have to offer. That that really hurts my ears. Ten dollars. Is that good? I think you should pay six pounds, so it's probably about. Uh, yeah, it's about the same. Jake likes getting his suit stuff from here. So we're just gonna take you around. When you've come in the door, we've just turned left. We're gonna come back and do the kids' clothes afterwards. So in the middle here is all the men's. It's got men's accessories and shoes and bouts. 
How much are the bouts? Twelve dollars leather. Bouts. Twelve le- leather. That's not bad. They got fake Crocs. They got the fancy I'm ones. I'm absolutely $6. soaked. It, ha- it rained as soon as we left the car. Fake Crocs for eight dollars. We have sandals for fourteen. Sliders for eight. And then more sliders is fourteen dollars. All of these eight dollar shorts are like in every colour. I think they would actually be nice for women too. For eight dollars, they're so nice. Got that Carhartt t-shirt with a map. Yeah. Four fifty men's t-shirts. Oh cool. There's an MBA section. So let's have a look at some of this stuff. So we have Lakers um, sandals for $18. That's only 20 That's $20. That's nice. Do you know what? I love this. That's Can you see how much it is? 18 $18. So it'd be about $20. Canadian, sorry. Yeah, that Lakers is so nice. And there's another one here, $20. And then also down here, they have the NBA Chicago Bulls. So let's go check this out. So this jersey is $15. And these are 18. Oh, wow, that's so nice. Oh, look at the back of it. <gasps> How much is that one though? $30. They're no, 40 k it's expensive, but you can tell it's made a lot nicer. Yeah, it is. It's very thick. This is awesome. That whole collection's nice, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Let's just quickly go over here, babe, and then we'll come back to the middle. Over here, by the other door, is... Cheetos. <laughs> Get a $14 Cheetos hat. Does it suit me? No. I've not seen the Cheetos collection before. I wonder if they have the Greg's collection. Obviously. This is their Greg's collection. Yeah, this is, this is the equivalent of a Greg's collection. Okay, so this is all still men's. I tell you what, Jake, the men's is actually a lot bigger than I thought. Normally a men's section is small in Primark. So, it's, so now we're going into the middle, which is all the summer stuff. So we have all these crazy, crazy summer tees. I think that's a bit big for you, babe. And actually, I do want to point that out. The sizes go up as well, like in England. So it goes from yeah. extra small to 3X, which is good. We have swimming trunks for $6. Okay, so we're now going into the women's section. First of all, a denim jacket for $21 is not bad at all. This skirt is so nice for $18 as well. Oh, I like the look of this. $16. That looks like a really comfy summer dress. $14. I love these sort of bags. Jake hates them. <laughs> and then we've got some summer dresses here for $12. It's a nice one. Heck is that? <laughs> is that not your style, Jake? Oh, this is a... Jake, is that, that's a me dress. Those bags that I like. 16 upper state that's cool two dollars that's actually really cool stitch collection stitch isn't one of my favorite unfortunately so i don't need any of his stuff they have for 12 dollars 100 anniversary stitch uh croc dupes Oh, this is the one that I've seen at home. Hold that up, babe. That's a nice one for $14. That's not bad. It's a nice one, isn't it? Yeah. I like these little tank tops, Hamptons, and $4.50. Now, this is quite expensive at $20, but this is so nice. Like, it's a drawstring you in. I actually really, really like that. I like that dress a lot oh this is a me dress this is a me dress isn't it yeah how much are they 16 16 uh, they do have denim over there I'm not a denim gal so I don't need to look over there okay so the swimwear is somewhere that I did want to look at 
so we've got tops for like seven dollars and bottoms for six dollars this one's a nice one but i'm more looking for a swimming costume these bikini bags are nice because you can put your wet bikinis in those if you're out on the beach for the day but you're going out afterwards slippers for five dollars and then the pajamas if you don't know, if you're not someone from England or Europe, Primark's pyjamas are amazing. They are so good. Oh, look at this Bambi one. Oh my God, I love that. $15 for the top and the bottom. Oh my God, I might have to get that as my camping one. Oh my God, this is so nice. $5 and then, is that the 90? That nighty is 15. Oh my god, that nighty is so nice. Oh, the shorts and the tank top for 13. I love this collection, don't you? That's so nice. I might have to buy some of these. They're living under our shed. That skunk's living under our shed right now. <laughs> have these ones. These are like boxery, $17. Oh, I definitely think I'm going to come back and try some of those on. $11 nighties. These are really nice for $12. Really nice summer shoes, these. Jake! Sorry. $10 for these shoes. These are really nice. I'm going to come and try these on, I think. $7. And then I love all these sandals. These are all $8. Hairbands for $4, $2. Primark accessories are honestly the best. My weakness, Jake. Handbags. <gasps> for a summer bag? Are you joking me right now? How much? 16. Oh, that's quite expensive. But imagine my towel in there and my sunglasses. Such a nice beach bag. My Disney bag actually lasts me forever. These are nice. So this one is $16. How much is this bag? It's a nice travel bag, that. How much is that? 26. 26. Nice. How much is that hat? Seven. I like the green of it. I actually really like that. I like this. Do you like it? Um, what do you think? It's all right. Prices, I feel like, have gone up. But I don't know in England if they've gone up too, because we obviously haven't lived in England for three years. So the thing I is, been... with the but the thing is, with the current jobs that we're working for a little bit more, they can get branded. Yeah, I know that's the hardest. And high-end branded. I just wanted <laughs> YouTube channel. Sorry. <laughs> so I just wanted to come check out these. I didn't even hear someone talking to me then. Look at these, Jake. How nice are these? And they're thirteen dollars. Oh my god, Willow would look so cute in these. Oh my god, I love them. We're just gonna have a little wander around. We were trying a few stuff, and then I'll take you on the rest of the vlog for today. Okay, so we have just come out of Primark, and we're gonna treat ourselves to a cookie miss finch's cookie miss finch's cookie so basically it's like millie's cookies in the uk but just named something different um, because we're going to go have lunch in chick-fil-a in just a little bit and jake wants to pop into dick so we're going to have a cookie here I love and dicks. then <laughs> jake's favorite store is dicks and bass pro i think it is. so we're just going to pick up a cookie i've got a nice big bag which i'll show you when we get home it came to 57 Canadian, which is not bad, so I brought a few bits. So I think the cookie place is here. Yeah. yeah. Oh, here it is. So it's literally the same as Millie's cookies. Oh, I'm excited. Are you, Jake? Yeah, but I don't know what I want, though. <laughs> we just realised we got it wrong. It's Mrs. Fields, not Mrs. Finch's. And Jake got this cupcake cookie. Are you having it now? Yep. Go on then. <laughs> And I've got just some cookies, three. Um, it was three and buy one, get one free. It's warm here, isn't it? Yeah, it is warm. Oh, oh it's all gooey. 
It's going to be a nice long vlog for the first vlog back. Oh, is it warm? Mm. Is it good? <laughs> Do you want to walk and eat it? I don't think I can. Oh my god, look how gooey that looks. That actually looks so good. Is it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're going to let me have a bit? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've got my cookies there now. The weather is so horrible today. It's so rainy, but it's very humid. So you can't wear a rain jacket. And anyway, I'll show you what I got when we get back to Canada and we get home. But Primark was good. It's definitely got everything that's got at home, just smaller quantity. Like the home section is tiny, the beauty is tiny, but it's definitely got the cheaper footwear and accessories the reasons that I go I never really go to Primark for the clothes I literally go for shoes bags and pajamas and it's definitely got all of that um, and then we just had a cookie as you've seen and now we're going over to Chick-fil-a guys I have not had a Chick-fil-a for the longest time I want to say Florida it was Florida when you last had one yeah that was the last time I had one and that was a long time ago that was last year because I just love Chick-fil-A. We always seem to be off on Sunday together. Chick-fil-A's closed on Sundays. So we are going over to Chick-fil-A. I'm gonna get my cob salad. Obviously I'll take you guys with us. Sorry if this vlog is really long. I just haven't vlogged in the longest time. I'm actually really enjoying it. Are you enjoying vlogging again, Jake? Yeah, I'm a professional now myself, so. <laughs> so I'm excited, but I'm getting tired. Come on, Louise. Let's go to Chick-fil-A. Okay, so I got a lemonade and it's just like fresh lemonade. It's got bits in but it tastes so good. This is my cob salad and I always get it with the honey mustard dressing. So I'm going to put it on there and do the Kardashian shake in a minute. And then um, the Chick-fil-A chips here are so good. They're like waffle fries. And then Jake got a spicy, a spicy one. So we just come out of Chick-fil-A and I am so full. It's crazy how much a salad fills you up, but I've missed it. It was expensive. It was 40 Canadian dollars, but we did get a lot of food. It was 25 USD. You forget when you come over the border, everything goes back to Canadian. It's like the worst thing ever. Um, but do you enjoy it, Jake? Yeah, it was delicious. He had the spicy chicken. Um, it was so busy in there, like crazy busy. It's now a 30 minute drive back to the border. We're going to go to Walmart and Target and things. Yeah, Aldi as well, aren't we? And Aldi, so I'm going to have a little snooze because I'm tired. <laughs> okay, can you come to America without getting a Duncan? America no. runs on Duncan. <laughs> <laughs> so we're on our way back to the border, but we're going to get a coffee. I 100% need one. I am dying today. I'm so tired. We need to sort that dripping noise out in case it rains again tonight, but. Just quickly popped a military mile road. Mili military oh road. Oh my mile. goodness, that shows how tired I am. Military mile. Military road mile. Military road mile. It's a really cheap mile. I picked up a few things from Yankee. I'll show you when we get home. But it is currently 3.30. So I need to get a coffee. I need, to, I need to. I'm literally flagging so bad. Yeah, so we just got our Duncan ready to go home. And I got the, I always get this. It's a caramel, no it's not. It's an iced latte with a pump of caramel swirl. And I always get a small, and <laughs> look how long the straw is. Um, I always get a small, because if I ask for regular, it's a medium, and the medium is huge. This is the difference in sizes. This is a medium, and it's so sickly if you have one that size, but Jake's got one that size. I just can't believe how long the straws are, but at least they're still plastic. Tastes so good. Okay, so we're back to the border now. We are how many minutes away? 13 minutes from Rainbow Bridge. We're crossing at Rainbow today. We are home and I've only got one bar of battery, so I'm gonna make it quick. Uh, we just did my passport picture because my passport runs out in two months and I've just got to send off my old passport, which means I'm not going to be going over to America or anywhere else in the next three months because that's how long it takes to get my passport. So I'm glad we went over today and I'm going to show you what we got. First of all, I am so happy that there is a Primark. Now, I'm one of those people, I don't love Primark because it's really, really cheap. 
because it is. I just like certain things. I think their Disney collection is amazing. I think their handbags and bags are amazing and their beauty have amazing dupes. So I'm not one of those people like I'm going there to get my basics because where we live, we have an outlet mall and it's so cheap, like Gap's you can get tops there for like $3. And where we work in the outlet, we get discounts, so it's actually cheaper. So yeah, I'm not going there for the basics, even though they did have some really nice staples. I rather get my clothes from other brands, which are better quality for cheaper. But I just like certain things from Primark. So I ended up spending, um, it, I can't remember how much it was in, in American. I looked at my bank a minute ago. Um, it was 45 USD, which was 57 Canadian, which is not bad at all. When you walked in, they gave out these free bags and they're quite handy, I think, for work, just to put your lunch in when you go to work or a little beach bag, like you don't mind if it gets dirty. So we got two of those, one each. Then the first thing that I got, I kind of said no when Jake pointed it out and I was like, I have to go back for it because I know I'm gonna regret it. Hang on, let me turn the light on. Anyway, it is this bag and it is a beach bag. It's, um, oh my God, I love it so much. It's like a wicker bag. It's so big inside and I am so excited to rock this on the beach. My camera's about to die, it's flashing at me. And this was 16 USD, so it's about 20 odd dollars. Remember the tax is cheaper in Buffalo as well. So, oh my God, I love it so, so much. I'm so glad I went back for it. Next thing I picked up is this hat for $7. So around 10 Canadian. Um, I do have lots of hats, but I just love the green on this. Like how nice is that green? And it is Disney, it says uh, since 1928, because it was the 100 year anniversary, I believe, Disney 100 at Primark. Um, and it's just such a nice green. And like I said, it's only $7. I can wear this in the sea on my paddleboard. I don't care if it gets wet because it's not like one of my expensive hats that I brought. So I've got some nice expensive ones. So, oh my God, I absolutely love this. $7, sorry, what? This thing I picked up is these Bambi pajamas. Oh my God, the Bambi pajama collection. I just wanted all of it. The nighty was so nice. The socks were nice. There was like... But I ended up picking up this one. So it comes with shorts. I got it in a large because I do like it nice and comfy and not tight. And I think for when I go camping, the shorts will be great. And then it comes with a matching top as well. Oh, just so nice. All the little Bambi on it. And this was $15. Um, that was that. And then the last thing I picked up. Oh, I got two cookies that I forgot having later for dessert. 75 cents to so just over a dollar i do have some face some things like this is handy to pick up from primark they're so cheap they're just cotton pads next thing we went into the american eagle um on military road mall everything in there is under 25 dollars and i picked up a dress for 9.99 honestly i get all my clothes from there it's so cheap and it matches my hat color so it's basically over the head strapless dress Sorry, this angle's not the best, but we're currently cleaning the house, so the house is a bit of a mess. And it's like such a me dress, and it was only $9.99. Oh, how nice is that? And I got that in a large, it was from American Eagle. The original price was actually, it went down to 40, it was $44.99, $19.99, and now it was $9.99, so that was an absolute bargain. Love that. Okay, and we popped into Yankee Candle to get a freshener. Where did you put that actually? Plug in. Sands plug in, um, which smells so good. Jake's already put it on. And then we also got a candle of pink sands, which is also on, which was $13. Then there was a clearance section with 75% off. So I'm going to show you what we got. So the first thing that we picked up was this one. It is called Sweet Nectar Blossom. Originally $20 and we managed to get it for $5 because it had 75% off. $5 for a Yankee Candle. Oh my God, it smells so good. Basically, we're kind of not renovating. <laughs> That's not the word. 
decorating the house. Basically, my brother and my sister-in-law move out on the 1st of May. And me and Jake have gone through um, some stuff with the landlord. And it's safe to say that we're probably going to be in this house for the next two years. Um, we've got like a saving thing going on for our first time buyers that we met with the bank, which I can do a whole vlog about another day. But basically, we're going to be in this house for the next two years. Um, so we want to make it as much as homely as possible. One. Two, now we're putting residency, we can start buying stuff. And yeah, we're just going to make sure that the upstairs is, we're going to have two wardrobes. Uh, downstairs will be our bedroom and the spare bedroom. Jake's going to have his man cave downstairs and then up here is like my relaxing and then our main living room. So I think this will be really nice to put in my new wardrobe. I'm so excited. If you guys want to vlog me doing all that, I know you guys like to see like what I get up to in Canada. So I don't really know if people are into watching me like redecorate and sort out my wardrobe. So let me know down below if you like that. Anyway, got that for $5. This one I'm thinking um, in the kitchen we arranged, rearranged where the washer and dryer is. And I want a little table in there. And I would love this on the little table next to the washer and dryer. And it's called Sheer Linen. Sheer Linen. And it smells incredible. Again, it was $20. So we got it for $5. And this is just so fresh. So clean. Oh, so good. We picked up these mini ones. They worked out to be $3 with the 75% off. So I picked up all three of them. I have no idea where I'm going to put these yet. Maybe one down in Jake's man cave, one in his wardrobe. They all are the same ones, but I got three of them. They're called the Bahama Breeze and they're the Little Yankees. Oh my God, they smell like summer. That's amazing. I love that. Okay. And then the last thing is Jake got an air freshener for $150. Um, and this is evergreen mist. I hate this sort of smell, like pine trees ones. I don't like that. So that's everything we got today. We got some really good deals. I'm really, really happy. And we've done my passport, which was a huge thing that was on our list. And now we are just cleaning and tidying. And yeah, we can't do too much. Basically, the whole house is kind of upside down right now. We have a sofa in our dining room because that's going to go down to jake's man cave it was really cheap so we couldn't say no to picking it up a few weeks ago i'm literally leaning on some drawers which we got for free um jake's going to paint and put into his wardrobe and like the kind of house is all upside down and it's like kind of hard to relax at the minute because there's just stuff everywhere but as soon as we be able to start spring cleaning i'll i think i'll feel a lot better um i've literally got the 1st of May off and 2nd of May to help my brother move into his apartment. And I think while we move him in, I'm going to just come back and like deep clean. Me and Jake have talked about painting some of the rooms and just touching up around the edges to make it look fresh. And yeah, I'm just really, really excited. And then we have some big trips planned. So yeah, so we're going to chill now for a little bit, put some washing on. So that's what we've been up to.